This video will pull back the curtain on how to create your own expiring URLs using Cloudberry Explorer. In addition to creating the time expiring URLs, you will also learn how they work and how to use them. For everyone that hands out digital download links, you need to watch this video. Let's take a look. What is a timed expiring URL? Well, just like it sounds, it's a URL that works fine and dandy, similar to this one here at this point, and at a certain time, that URL expires. It's no longer any good. And let me show you, because I had this one expire the way I had it set up originally, and I'll show you that here in just a sec. I had it expire uh, about a minute ago. So let's go ahead and refresh this, and this is what you get. Request has expired. and I'm sure all this other gibberish in here means something to somebody, but <laughs> I have no clue what it means. I just know that I ain't getting my goodies here. Access denied, and this is why. Now then, how did we come about getting this? Well, let me open up our Cloudberry software, and I'll show you. This is that URL right here. Or actually, this is the file related to that URL. And we've gone over this before as far as how to create the URLs and all that kind of stuff, set and permissions. But if we right-click on this, come on down here to the ACL, the permissions, and under you, all users, you can see there are no permissions allotted. They're blank. There are no permissions. So you would probably get, or should get, access denied. So let's go ahead and show you that. Just right click on this. Come on down here to get web URL. Left click on that. And this is our URL that had expired. Copy the clipboard. Come on back here. And right now you see request has expired. Paste. It's the same place access denied. So it's not like it's expired anymore. There is no timed URL on this. It just has no permission set to it. So you get access denied. Again, and ain't getting your goodies. So let's come on back here to Cloudberry Explorer. And with that same URL, come on up here to expired URL after a spe specified date. Now remember, we still have our ACL or the permission set to nada, zero, zilch. And that's the first step. You do not assign permissions to any users aside from the owner, but you do not assign any permissions to any users to create your expiring URL. Now before we go further, think a little bit about first what the heck are you going to need an expiring URL for? Well, there's several reasons, and I'm sure that the more you get into this, the more you might see how it could apply to your particular situation. Namely, one that comes to mind is, say, for example, you're getting ready to launch a product. You've got the product launch date coming up, and you've got some promotional material that you want to toss out to the public to lead up to that, to build some buzz, and whether it's videos or eBooks or graphics or what have you. And at the time of that product launch, or let's say even the day after the, the product has been launched, you no longer need to have the world seeing those promotional videos or the promotional ebooks or graphics or whatever. So you can either go through each and every one of those uh, URLs and delete them from your server, or you can set a time for them to automatically expire at said date. One of the cool things about Cloudberry Explorer is it allows you to do just that in a more of a graphical sense. In other words, it gives you the day, the month, even the year, and also the hour, the minute, even the second in which you can have that link expire and poof, you know, I'm thinking mission impossible, you know, at a certain time this message will self-destruct, that kind of thing. And that's exactly what happens. So if we set this right now, it is on my computer clock 7.45 a.m., we set this for 747, uh, 747, that'll work. That's, nope. Let's go 748. And we click on generate. Then it gives us this long, ugly looking link. Now we go ahead and toss this in our browser. Remember, we have no permissions set. Okay. Click on copy, or you could have done this right here too. Going back to the browser, paste that bad boy in there, hit enter, and here's our video. Now then, through the magic of video, I'm not going to have you wait a couple of minutes because I set that for 7.48, right? And it's now 7.46. And now it is 7.48. So let's refresh this. And it's still working. Okay. So I guess because of the seconds, it's 7.48. Let's wait till we get to 7.49. That way I know that it's gone beyond the 7.48 and 47. Yeah, it's almost 7.49. So, yeah, pretty close. And let's go on back here. Any second now, it should be expiring, which is, like I said, pretty cool with Cloudberry Explorer because you can narrow it down to the seconds, as well as the minutes, hours, day, and month. 
and I believe year as well. But don't hold me to that. I do not plan on waiting until next year to see if that works that way. We are now at 749 and counting. Let's refresh now, and it should expire. There we go. And as you can see, like the original error message we got, request has expired. Of course, we got the access denied. Request has expired. One other thing, like I was saying, as far as using this as a promotional items for a product launch, again, just an example, you don't want to send this off to your JVs, your JV partners, because that's pretty long and ugly looking link. You've got this built in right here. You check that box and it will generate a short URL, just like your tiny URLs, your bud URLs, you know, whatever of the gazillion other URL shrinkers that are out there. And frankly, I haven't heard of this one before up until the time I started doing some looking into Cloudberry Explorer, but it's really no different than in the other ones. Now, myself, I prefer using Bud URL, and I'm going to go into that in greater detail in an upcoming video whenever we do the same thing using a different tool, a different third-party tool. But if you click on this, let's change the time here. Let's go with uh, 52 and generate the URL. It's the same URL, only we've shrunk it up. Now, then, if you were to put a S dot in front of the CHILP, then you can also track the statistics on this. I haven't done that, but I just read that that's how you can do that. Now with Bud URL, it makes it a lot easier. And another thing with Bud URL is you can append it with an actual name, an actual title to more define this particular link. And it looks better too, if you ask me. So let's put this here in our browser. Again, you can copy that by just clicking on that button right there. Going down to the browser. And that's set for 752 and it's 750-ish right now. Click and paste. You can see it's shortening it up a great deal. And here's the video. Now let's give this just a second or two. As you can see, it kind of converts it back to the original URL right there. So let's go ahead and refresh now that we've gone beyond the expiration time. And there we go. Again, request has expired. Access denied. Ain't getting your goodies. So let's go ahead and recap, shall we? What we've learned today. So First and foremost, you can in fact create the expiring URL. So at a certain point in time that you so desire or have designated the URL to that particular file, document, video, whatever, is no more. It will poof, go away. It's not going to work. So you can shorten that URL because it does create a rather ugly looking long URL. But you can shorten the URL and using certain third party tools, you can even track the information regarding that shortened URL and we've gone over why you would want to shorten the URL, a couple of ideas, and of course you let your imagination roll with it. And remember the most important part is, is that the clock in which the URL will expire starts ticking as soon as you hit that generate button. And you want to definitely keep that in mind. So there are certain applications you would not want to use this for unless you really get off on customer support. And that's going to bring us to the end of this video on creating time expiring URLs. Thank you very much for watching and you have a great day.